<laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Nidhi, I hope you guys, my energy levels are like, Wee. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Nidhi. <laughs> How y'all doing? <coughs> yeah. Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, oh I didn't like it. Okay. Like hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Nidhi. I hope that you guys are doing very, very well. I'm here with my beautiful girlfriend, Jazz. <laughs> We're doing another girlfriend tag today. We're answering some questions. Um, we have a whole playlist of gay stuff for you guys to go watch. Um, so I will have it linked down below, but we're gonna get right into it. Okay, the first question is, is your girlfriend more social or more reserved? So I guess introvert versus extrovert. We, it's so funny, we were talking about this on the phone the other day. Yeah. I think I'm an introvert. Um, I'm an introvert, which is strange to say because I have a social media presence, but I have the social battery of like zero uh, most times. Like, well, it's, no, I think that you, you value your alone time a lot. Mm -hmm. And especially with COVID, it's, I think like a social battery is like something, it's a muscle you have to exercise. Yeah. So when you stop using it and you stop seeing people, it's very draining to be around people without being rude or disrespectful. No, and I also don't think I knew my boundaries well enough to know how to protect my energy before quarantine. Like, I think I only really discovered that now. So like now I will know how to be in situations with people for a long time and not feel so drained. Like I only surround myself with people who it like empower you almost, you know? Um, but still, even like back to back things with friends, like I need breaks in the middle. I had a phone call with my friend the other day and I spent the morning alone, like I, in my room, away from my family. Cause I was like, I need to, if I'm gonna have to have a phone call for a couple of hours, I need to have time to have my own time. So long story short, introvert for both of us. <laughs> That's only the first question. We just had three <laughs> minutes on the first question. Does your girlfriend prefer coffee or tea? Me? Yeah, you I don't like either. Yeah. I don't really drink either. And I was like low key addicted to caffeine in college. So I weaned myself off of that because I noticed I was like getting the shakes and headaches and just I felt awful if I forgot my coffee in the morning and I was like, I'm 18, that's not normal. <laughs> and then I weaned off and started having tea and now I'm like more of a matcha chai kind of person. Caffeine is like a every now and then for me because I will just fall down that spiral again. Um, is your girlfriend a morning or a night person? Night. Morning. Is your girlfriend more likely to spend or save money? Save. Spend. Save. Spend. Save. Spend. Save. <laughs> Who squashes the bugs? Nobody. Mm. We let them live. We take them outside. I feel like it's usually me. I don't like You don't think so? I don't like squashing bugs. Exactly. So you yeah, do think it's yeah. me? I do think it's me too. Um, but I won't squish them. I'll try to take them outside. Who's more likely to bust out into a song? Randomly? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. You. Have you ever taken a vacation slash holiday together? If so, where? Yes. <laughs> New Hampshire camping. We have camping trips. Then we have India, Calgary, and Europe. We did Ireland, Scotland, and London. All of our travel and getaways are also in a playlist down below. I organize my YouTube videos, okay? So I really, <laughs> I hope you guys look at them. Oh. Who is more likely to spontaneously be romantic? I feel like that's me. Cause I, I feel like you plan you. your romantic. To yeah, I do. I plan everything. Who's the better driver? I don't think there's a better we're one. Both I think pretty we're both solid. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were gonna say bad. <laughs> we <laughs> both suck. We're both awful drivers. <laughs> <laughs> those TikToks, that's like, when your girlfriend runs over a curb and says, oops. Yeah. And then like the guys are like, like <laughs> singer. <laughs> We've both done that. We're both like, oops. <laughs> but Taylor like, saw me. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the better singer? You, but you don't do it. You don't sing. Who's the better dancer? You, but you again don't Love do it. You just don't show me dancing. these things. I'm all for it. Who's <laughs> better at math? You. No, see, th I think I'm better at quick math, like grade two to four. <laughs> I think you're better at like high school math. Oh, okay. This is my proud Indian moment. I was on the Canadian Mathematics League in elementary school. Anyways, it's I got the, it's a, I got the an, shoulder. I think I got an award for it, and I was really excited. My parents were really proud of me, and then I was like, "Never mind, I want the arts." <laughs> Whose handwriting is better? Oh, yours. One yeah. handwriting. I had chicken scratch. Sorry, stupid. Oh. Does your girlfriend smoke? No. No. Who is more physically strong? You. No. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Stroking my ego. Yeah, that like no. <laughs> tell me more. Um, Can your girlfriend speak more than one language? If so, which one? You don't want to talk about the toothbrush? I forgot. <laughs> oh, now I'm mad all over again. <laughs> the most romantic thing your girlfriend has ever done for you? Bought me a blender. 
I'm kidding. That's okay. just my love language. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Dig deep. No. There's so many things. I, I don't want to enter this one. I like saving those. I, everything. Everything you do is romantic. That's the thing. Wow, that was really sweet of you. Um, she rented a movie theater out for me, so I can't top that. I've been trying to top it for six years. Oh my god, I forgot that. That's so... What a lesbian move, though. And the first thing I ever gifted you, the first occasion we had, was the most romantic. I filmed us just like chilling and like spending time together and whatever, and then I made a video out of it. And then I went to the movie theater and played it there with just her and I. She thought we were gonna go watch like Cinderella or something. She was like, why are we doing this? Um, for her birthday. And that video is still one of my favorite videos. Cause it was like pre-YouTube. It was just like me wanting to edit something for you. And it's like really cute. It's like, like little phone videos. I showed it to like my sister and my friends. Every single person I've showed it to has cried. Like they just cry watching it's really it. cute yeah it is it's really, really cute, cute. Okay. okay we had to change the battery and memory card so i don't know if this is in the same spot sorry have you guys ever discussed marriage no it's it's never come up in six years have you ever discussed having kids no no is there anything about your girlfriend you think most people don't know she does in fact cry i do <laughs> i do cry um i think people don't know how like the extent to your thoughtfulness and depth i think online I talk a lot about how thoughtful you are and like the things that you do and I like rave about you obviously but I've never met anybody with so much like depth and capacity just understanding and just like love like I've and I I don't know if you can know that until you meet you I don't know if I've shown that to anyone else though exactly like people don't know the same version of you that I do I'm not I guess, as soft with my friends, I'm tough with my friends. I don't think so. No, I'm kidding. I don't think anyone knows the same version of me that you do. So I think it's normal yeah. for a couple's thing. Like, nobody knows the, yeah, yeah. the version of me that I am with you. Am I boring you? No, you are not boring. <laughs> but I just think there's so much. Like, even though couples are online, the, you, there is 95% of the relationship that you don't know. So, it well, actually it depends. A lot of couples will can put a lot up there, but like our relationship is not perfect, but we work very hard on, on being clear and being Communi communicative open, yeah. and like everything. And so, so I don't know, I think online we might seem like a certain way, but he, I mean, that's just on one side of us. Yeah, it's very, it's very one-sided what you see on the internet. Mm -hmm. And I guess I just, I would have to say like you as a whole, like there's so much of you that people don't know. Because like the intimateness mm -hmm. of you and like the depth of you, you know? Yeah. I was going to say for you, your um, your passion and your drive. I feel like as a Capricorn, like people assume you're just like super work oriented and like good at what you do. But I find that you become what, good at what you do when you're very passionate about it. And I think you, I don't know if you mask it, but it doesn't like... I don't know how to explain it, but like, like when you're passionate about something, you will master it. And then you're like, okay, well now that I've mastered it, how do I do better? Learn more from it, get up, 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 up. You're always just so driven to do it. I think to other people, it might be perceived as like, get to the top kind of oh, thing. Oh, like power hungry. Yeah, yeah, power hungry. It might seem power hungry to people, but I, I don't think it's that. I think it's passion. I think- And like your passion drives you. That's really nice to hear. I think I'm low-key a little power hungry. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> What's one item on your girlfriend's bucket list? You want to bungee jump in New Zealand. Thank you. That's the exact answer I was waiting for. I know. I don't know much on your bucket list. I don't think you believe in bucket lists. You're like, just fucking do I'll it. I'll just do it. <laughs> um, beauty terms aside, choose one word to describe your girlfriend. Why that word? Okay, hold on. I have to think. Oh, I already know my word. <gasps> what? Creative. Uh. -huh. You know that. Yeah. Thank you. You're the most creative person ever. Thank you. You're welcome. Warm. Oh, I was getting ready for my answer. Warm? That's the word you described? You're so warm. You're I'm a so cold soul. homey. You make people feel like so welcome and loved. You have a gift, Thank you know? You. You're welcome. All right, you guys, that's it for our video. Please don't forget. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Leave any questions that you have down below. Um, check out our other videos in the playlist. I will have them linked down below as well. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.
Bye. Bye. Hey. Baby, so damn fine, no. Wanna know if I can hit it from behind, no. I'm sipping on you like some fine wine, though. When it's over, I press for wine, though. Talking bands, I got it. Benjamin's in my pocket.